It's no secret that obesity and chronic illness are increasing year on year around the world. Bariatric surgery or weight loss surgery was previously designed solely for weight loss, but it has now been recognized as playing a significant role for diabetic patients. Specifically, the mini gastric bypass or MGB, one of the most powerful options for overweight diabetics, has been used more widely around the world. The mini gastric bypass involves making a small stomach pouch and attaching it to a loop of small bowel, therefore bypassing the part of upper small bowel shown here. In this video, you're going to meet Dr. Arun Dia, who performs the mini gastric bypass here in Melbourne, Victoria, and Dr. Robert Rutledge, who is the founder and inventor of the mini gastric bypass, visiting Australia for a talk on the procedure. We'll also hear from one of the patients that Dr. Arun Dia has operated on and her personal experience with the mini gastric bypass. Hi, I'm Lisa. Um, I'm here to talk today a little bit about my procedure. So I went from having a lap band surgery to choosing to do a mini gastric bypass. I had the procedure done around 14 weeks ago here at Warringal Private Hospital with Dr. Arun Dia. This procedure is one of the weight loss procedures that is becoming rapidly popular across the world for two unique reasons. It not only provides the ability for people who are in that really high BMI range and are also suffering medical problems associated with being overweight, it not only provides them with the ability to eat a small portion of healthy food, but more importantly, if they are diabetics, it has got a huge impact on improving their diabetes. And I think that's where the power of this mini gastric bypass lies. My travels are related to a surgical treatment for a subgroup of patients who suffer these unfortunate new illnesses that are spreading and spreading rapidly all around the world. They began in America with our American diet. They began with pizza and McDonald's and KFC and ice cream and candy and Coca-Cola and things like that and the wide availability of those in cheap form has led to basically a tsunami, a wave that's crashing all across the beaches of nations all around the world. So that now up to a third of people in many nations around the world are either overweight, obese, or diabetic. And there is projections that that number is only going to grow. And so we're part of an effort to try and uh, help address that new growing worldwide threat. But one of the major things that I have loved about having this procedure, apart from the fact that you see immediate results, I don't feel hungry. I never feel hungry. Um, I wake up in the morning. I was really, admittedly, you know, prior to this, I was um, had problems with eating in that I would tend to go most of my days without eating. And then it would be at night time that I'd come home and that's when I'd have something really big to eat and go to bed. But with this operation, I don't feel that um, I'm not overly hungry. And if I have something small, it satisfies me and it sustains me for the day. Uh, weight loss surgery comes in when the damage has taken place and it's reached a point where diet, healthy lifestyle and exercise by itself cannot make an impact. And that's where the role of surgery comes. It's been 14 weeks since I had the operation, so it's still a little bit of trial and error. But so far, everything's been fantastic and I've lost already around 24 kilos since I had the operation in 14 weeks. That would never have happened trying to do light and easy or <laughs> a diet. It just, it would never shift for me. Well, imagine being cured of diabetes. Imagine not being morbidly obese, being normal. Imagine being able to walk or imagine if you're a young woman and people begin to treat you as an attractive person, as a nice person, as someone they'd like to be with. Um, so that the uh, devastating effects of obesity are health related but they're also social. Because we judge each other, we should not, we should judge each other on our character, we judge each other on how we look. 
and those people who are heavy and overweight, especially women, are judged by our looks. And so it can be a devastating social situation as well as a health situation to be very severely overweight. Diabetes, as I've said already twice, is associated with these deadly complications, and I'll mention them once more because they're so serious, and that includes blindness, heart attack, stroke, kidney failure, amputation, and death. And now imagine the mini gastric bypass, a 30 minute to 40 minute operation, as short as one day in the hospital, and imagine that that over the next 10, 15, and 20 years can resolve those problems. That's the exciting part of the mini gastric bypass. I'm not getting paid for this. I chose not to. I actually really just highly recommend Dr. Arun because of the fact that he's been so giving in helping me to understand what my options are and he's been so supportive. And to have a surgeon who has offered the opportunity to be able to continue to see him for a full year or so after the procedure, um, he's, like I said, he's. The whole, um, his whole organisation, right from the girls that are working at reception, have just been so lovely with me and always so helpful. And any questions that I have, he's always been there to support me through it. If there's any further questions that you might have about the operation or if you know of anyone who may benefit from this information, we're very happy to be contacted.